Hi, my name is Katie Soderberg, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Smart Connect. However, first of all, for those of you who are new to Smart Connect, let's start out by noting what Smart Connect is and what it does. Smart Connect, which was developed by E1 Solutions, makes generating new data easy. It offers a no-code interface, allowing you to take data out of any source and to generate data in almost any destination via any transformation path. We can really draw a line from any of these data sources, whether it's a SQL database, Microsoft CRM, a file, your cloud apps, and draw that line to any of the destinations, specify when we want to run that integration, and how we want to transform that data along the way. Let's take a quick tour of Smart Connect. Let's begin by covering an overview of the interface. In the top ribbon, we have a number of tabs, maps, Setup, Maintenance, Logs, Admin, and the Help tab. Right now we're in the Map tab. Let's click over to the Setup. The Setup is where you'll initially start out to set up your connectors to your systems, like CRM, Salesforce.com, SQL, Dynamics GP, just to name a few. You'll also give your Smart Connect users privileges to do and use areas of Smart Connect in the security area. As I click through the top, areas, we're going to open up our maintenance. In the maintenance tab, we can set up additional connectors and do things like create templates that can be used for scripting, email templates, SQL commands, and for Excel templates that can leverage the Smart Connect add-in. Here's where we can also create translation tables, and we can also leverage the import and export options. This is especially nice when you want to move your map configurations and other Smart Connect items like templates, connectors, default connections, and real-time data sources from one environment to another. Let's open up our Map tab. In the Map tab, that is where we're going to actually build our maps, and we can do some other things like view real-time and create real-time data sources. We can look at errors, we can duplicate maps that have already been created, and look at activity and map logs. Below, we can see how we have our maps organized. We're going to open up a specific map. I just opened up the map setup window for an integration that has already been built out and I'm going to give you a quick tour. We'll start in the Source and Destination tab, which is where we're at now. In particular, in this map, Dynamics GP is our data source, and we are using a real-time trigger to update products from GP and then update Microsoft CRM. So in this case, Dynamics GP is our data source and Microsoft CRM is our destination. Next, we're opening up the Options tab. This is where we specify what kind of scripting we want to use if we are going to use scripting for a calculated field or as a step within our integration. And we can also specify some other options, like whether we'd like to use logging or debugging within this integration. Tasks are next. This is where we can specify other steps and processes that run separate from our standard map processing and we can specify them based on events that are happening within our integration. So some example of tasks include copying, deleting, moving a file, sending an email template that might be sending a list of errors to a specific email address when the map fails. So you can see there's some different paths. So we can run a task based on whether the document fails or succeeds or before or after our map. I'll wrap up by covering a couple other areas. If you are running an integration on a schedule, we do have a scheduler. And so you can specify when that integration runs. In this specific map, this is a real-time map. And so there's no need to specify a schedule. In our case, to specify that we want to start this integration, we would click the register button, which registers that trigger. If this was a scheduled integration, we would click a run button. So that's a tour of the Smart Connect map setup window. So at this point, we've taken a tour of Smart Connect. Before we wrap up, I'd like to share a few resources from the E1 website. 
If you go to e1solutions.com, you'll be able to do a number of things like access training on our events page, take advantage of support resources, engage our professional services team, and you can also purchase ours at our e1 shop. Let's go to our event page. On our event page, you'll be able to see a list of all the events coming up on our E1 calendar. You can register for demos, trainings, conferences, as well as special events. If we go to our support page, you're able to access our support center, which includes our forums, help articles, user manuals, and you can search any topics. If I scroll down, you can also submit a support ticket. One of the things you'll need to do before registering for training or, or working with our support team is to purchase ours. So the final spot that we'll take a look at is our E1 shop. If you click on shop, at the bottom of the initial page you'll be able to add training hours, support hours, as well as service hours to your account. Well, we've reviewed all the topics we're looking to cover in this video. We reviewed a high level summary of Smart Connect, the interface for creating an integration, and how to access resources and training on the E1 website. We'd encourage you to review other videos on the E1 website and our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, you can email sales at e1solutions.com or give us a call at 888-319-3663. We would like to make sure you're successful with your integration and we look forward to working with you.